In case you guys didn't know, by the way, we might have a lot of new viewers, you know, from Generation Race uh, who might not know us very well, but Frank is actually addicted to Bob the Builder. <laughs> well, listen, I've been to therapy. I've been working on my addiction. It's like, it's one of those things where like every single day I just wake up and I say, yes, I can. Yes, I can. And it motivates me, but at the same time, it's unhealthy to invest myself in such a such a one-off phrase, you know? And I keep picking up hammers thinking I can wield them like Thor. It's actually getting to the point where he'll go to car dealerships and the vehicles will speak to him. Like, it's scary. <laughs> It's going down. Go! I'm yelling timber. Ah, you better move. <laughs> move. You, you better, better dance. Let's, Let's make, make a night. night. You won't remember. I'll be the one. You won't forget. I just got a mutual for my encounter in the ice cave. Welcome on back to Generation Race. If you missed the last episode, it was up on Frank's channel on Thursday. The next episode will be up on Frank's oh channel tomorrow because the schedule God. of the series is Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, alternating between both of our channels. You did not just get a freaking mute. <laughs> Bro, this that is, is so broken. funny. This oh. is broken. That's messed up. Anyways, what's up, guys? We hope you guys are all having a great day. Hit the like button. Check out the merch or something. I don't know if you guys are doing well. Uh, by the way, my channel. You think I have merch? <laughs> well, I, I have merch. I mean, shoot. If, if, if they don't want to. Wait, isn't the, uh, the 50K shirt still available or no? Uh, That's a great question. <laughs> I don't know at this point. It might be. Uh, I'll, I'll have to get back to you. I'll find people talk to you. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, sounds good, man. Yeah. Just let me know. Yeah, um, no, I thought that it was going to end on August 21st, but apparently if people still have access to the link, they can still pick one up if they want. <laughs> <laughs> Which, I mean, I'm not complaining. If you want one, pick one up. I'm excited that we hit 50k. Let's celebrate. Um, but it's just, it's funny, man. Uh, even the same thing with the Yo Bet shirts. Nobody bought a Yo Bet shirt for years because they weren't available. Uh -huh. But as soon as I made my Teespring uh, link public again, and I was like, hey, check it out. We got 50k available. Uh, <laughs> people were like, wait a second, Yo Bet. It's like people hacked the mainframe to get a shirt like that. <laughs> yeah, no, because I think you have to actually, you have to go in and like, um, like actually take down the listing. You know what I mean? Yeah, which I did not do. <laughs> yeah. I'll be honest. But at the same time, I'm also like, not like stressing about that or anything. I mean, if people want to pick up a shirt, they can. I'm just not going to hype it up anymore because the campaign's over, you know? Yeah, no, that, make, that makes sense. I, um, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yo, when's the next time that you're going to be doing a merch run? Uh, do you have any fun plans soon? Because I got nothing. <laughs> um, I actually don't know. I mean, I have a couple like loose ideas, right? But uh, I kind of do mine very spontaneously. You know, I kind of just do them if mm -hmm. I if I have like the stroke of inspiration and then I, I go with it. But typically I just kind of keep like the main logo stuff available and then just kind of rock out yeah. with that. Yeah, I'm so like back and forth when it comes to merch because like I think that like merch is really hype and I love, you know, giving you guys something like a physical item, you know, that represents the channel. But at the same time, I also don't want to start a merch store yet. I, in a weird way, don't feel like I'm quite big enough. If, if that makes sense. When I do drop a merch store, I want it to, you know, be like this really, really big thing. And I also don't really feel like there's enough like inside jokes and memes on the channel at the moment either to really pull it off. Perfectly. Yeah. So basically we need to sh post more in Ryan's chat is what, is what, yes. is what he's talking about. Clearly that is what the culprit of the issues have been this yeah. whole time. There has been a distinct <laughs> lack of garbage in Ryan's stream chat. Exactly. Except for when Frank shows up. Yeah, then Gum! I Burn! Wait, wait, I was Take gonna Take that. I was gonna Hot wheels. I was gonna <laughs> agree with you there, but then you actually destroyed my entire career. Yo! Yeah. We're getting the ho ho! Let's go, baby! Sha ha! Yo. Why is ho ho's overworld sprite like tiny <laughs> and goofy? <laughs> yeah. That's so like anti <gasps> Can there not be one generation where we both have Mewtwo's? <laughs> This is the funniest thing. <laughs> oh my god. We're gonna have like the same teams from Ganto at this point. That is so funny. So like, we both are gonna have Muse and Muse. <laughs> That's so funny. That is oh, amazing. Man. Yo, okay, and actually we haven't talked about this in a minute, but uh the uh the uh, MVP system, vote down in the comments soon. When we get to Victory Road, uh, what Pokemon do you want us to carry over to Hoenn? I, I still don't know if we've decided if we can <laughs> let Finny or Vinny go, but let us let us know because 
Well, what are your predictions, actually? Because uh, I have a couple really good Pokemon on my team that could probably be used as MVPs. It I, might not be Mew this time. I don't I don't know. It's like, I think it just depends on how we lay out the rules, which we're still undecided on. We'll have to, we'll have to <laughs> seriously, like, like actually figure, figure it out before out. we get to that point. Um, mm -hmm. But Knowing uh, us, we're probably not going to figure out until we get to Victory Road. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll figure it out, like, you know, once we're there. But no, we'll, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I think it just depends. I honestly think Vinny will, will probably be the most likely candidate, though. I think Vinny will keep coming with me. Um, gotcha. Is Mew even in Sword and Shield? Like, is it possible to bring Mew in all eight games? I think I think Mew is in Sword and Shield. Maybe I'm not entirely sure. I mean, I'm not I, entirely sure either. <laughs> I, th I think so, but listen, man, I've been wrong about a lot of things, especially like mm -hmm. when it comes to, like my virginity and stuff like that. So, uh, it could oh, are you really confused about that one? Uh, yeah. It, no, I I looked at myself in the mirror and I was like, I was like, do I have it? Do I not have it? I was like trying to give myself like a self diagnosis, <laughs> you know. Uh, okay, well, what was the verdict? I, I know it's probably not like the most clear answer, but like, what'd you come to terms with when you walked away from the mirror? Well, I was leaning towards, um... All right, good talk. Best talk that we ever had. <laughs> oh, sorry, wait, my, my Discord cut out. What were you saying? Uh, are you a virgin? Sorry, Question of the day. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, you cut out again. What were you saying? Are you a virgin? Yo, dude, Question gonna, of the day. Dude, dude, my virginity's on the line. I'm gonna have to fight Discord for this one, bro. What, <laughs> what, what, what were you yeah. saying? But yeah, no, let us know down in the comments too. Question of the day. What? Would that be an unethical comment, question of the day? Like, is it okay to ask our viewers, are, are you virgin? What? <laughs> <laughs> God, you're gonna make me leave this car. Oh God. Could you imagine? I will, could you I will evict you. Could you imagine I keep committing to it? I'm just like, what? I'm just like the entire video. What, what? We're really gonna sit for the next 30 minutes. Yo, so today's episode of Generation Race is actually on like the biggest like time crunch ever because Frank needs to hit the start stream button like as soon as we get out of this episode. He's streaming some more Mario Galaxy tonight. Woo -woo. Yeah, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a great time. I'm glad that we're knocking out this third episode though because you know that just makes us even more ahead and you know doing these recording sessions mm -hmm. not only not day of um but uh it's you know doing so multiple nice. in a session like this has actually been really nice dude me and you have been freaking killing it lately i don't even know really what got into us either like we just started being good at our jobs kind of <laughs> yeah no we've actually we've actually been doing a lot better of a job of like keeping up with uh just not like doing you know, day of and not doing day of that, and you know? doing multiple episodes per session and like that sort of mm -hmm. thing so you know what I'm not doing a good job of? Catching this Mewtwo. I literally look at my screen. I have him on one HP and he's paralyzed. Like, <laughs> what else am I supposed to do? This is literally my last ball. Like, yeah. if, if this doesn't work, that's just frustrating. Yeah, I won't lie. You better hurry up, dude. I'm literally going to the Elite Four right now. That's frustrating. Oh my god, you are! Yeah, no, like... Oh, shoot. We might need to do, like, the MVP poll in this video, won't we? No, well, I mean, I still gotta go through Victory Road and stuff, but... You know, but the next episode on your channel tomorrow might just be an elite four run. Uh, Victory Road and Johto is not very much. All that it is is you're about to just have a rival battle. Wait, really? Is that it? If I remember correctly, I don't believe that there's a, like puzzles in Johto. So I'm really bummed that I missed out on a Mewtwo. But like, it's also one of those things where I kind of can't get angry at something that I can't control. I went in with 20 Pokeballs. He was low on health and paralyzed. Like, what else was I supposed to do? Man? Oh, what you the know? hell, dude? Dude, what the we, hell? We could have, we could have, we could have been, we could have been matching, dude. I wanted to yeah. wear that shirt with you. It was literally not my fault, but okay. That's actually, <laughs> uh, dude, you should have, you should have bought more balls. I'm getting an, a TM here, which is nice. Uh, yo, what's the DM? What's it getting randomized to? I, I don't know. I guess we'll <laughs> go ahead and find out real quick. What's it going to be? Uh, I made a mistake. I made a mistake. I made oh, a mistake. I made a mistake. Not, it's not randomized. It's just reflect. Really? Yeah, I, I don't know. I guess it wasn't. Oh, I guess it wasn't. That's anticlimactic. It Not only did I run into a Mewtwo in the ice cave and I didn't catch it, but like, you also just didn't randomize your team. That's just the anticlimactic episode, apparently. <laughs> I guess so. So wait, we're allowed to once again. I just double, hundred percent checking. But we we can teach HMs to whoever we want and use them in battle. It doesn't matter, right? Yes. Okay. Yes, we can. Sick. All right, I'm gonna teach. You know, uh, Bob the Builder. Yes, we can. No, it's it's can we build it? Yes, we can. Please. Stop I never being... watched Bob the Builder. I, I'll you are a fake fan, bro. 
<laughs> oh my god. Frank, I feel like you low-key have a Bob the Builder shrine, like in your closet in your bedroom. <laughs> yeah, no, I literally, that's why I moved to the new apartment, because I wanted some place, I wanted more room for my Bob the Builder sh shrine. <laughs> oh my so god. I could do more praying in my evening activities. Yeah, exactly. In case you guys didn't know, by the way, because, I mean, we might have a lot of new viewers, you know, from Generation Race, uh, who might not know us very well, but Frank is actually addicted to Bob the Builder. <laughs> well, listen, I, I've been to therapy, I've been working on my addiction. It's like, it's one of those things where, like, every single day I just wake up and I say, yes, I can. Yes, I can. And it motivates me, but at the same time, it's unhealthy to invest myself in such a, such a yeah. one-off phrase, you know? And I keep picking up hammers mm -hmm. thinking I can wield them like Thor. <laughs> it's like, I don't Dude, know. Dude, it's actually getting to the point where he'll go to car dealerships and the vehicles <laughs> will speak to him. Like, it's scary. <laughs> no, I stopped by at construction sites just to say hi to the animals. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> good God, man. Could, could you imagine, like, literally having a Bob the Builder addiction? Like, that's so excessive. I'm I'm actually legally not allowed to go within 500 feet of a construction zone. Like, <laughs> I've been legally diagnosed with a restraining order. Yeah, Taka's I'm, really angry at me. I know, dude. The, the chief of police hates me. <laughs> oh my god, bro. Jesus Christ. What was your favorite uh, childhood show, though, like growing up? Bob the Builder. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Shut up immediately. No, my uh, my favorite show. Um, honestly, it was it was probably Thomas the Tank Engine was my absolute favorite. Um, I'll be honest, I never actually got into it uh, growing up. I couldn't for some reason. Yeah, no, Thomas, dude, Thomas was the was awesome. I also really liked the Wiggles. Uh, and then as I got older, I got you know into Pokemon and um, yeah, you know. dude. I, can you guess mine? Because I feel like it's actually pretty easy. Blue's Clues. Yeah, look at you go. Dude, I literally, I watched so much Blue's Clues when I could. Uh, dude, I think there was one Christmas when I was like three years old or something where my parents got me uh, the Blue's Clues thinking chair and oh! I was so ecstatic, man. It was Wait, so cute. That's actually so cute. You got Can the I pull up the picture? It's it's cute, man. Yeah, sure. That's uh, that's so cute. Bwah. All right. Bwah. Yeah, dude, it, it's literally the cutest dang thing. Uh, but yeah, no, I watched so much Blue's Clues growing up. Uh, screw Joe, he's kind of annoying. Um, but <laughs> Steve, he was the homie. Wait, wasn't Joe the original guy, though? No, no, Steve was the original oh, guy. Oh, Steve then, was the and original then, guy. Yeah, then Steve went to college, and then Joe took over. Can you tell? I kind of didn't take after Steve growing up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you were like, you are like, you know, Steve is cool and all, but... <laughs> but he went to college. Joe, so, is, <laughs> Joe is my Joe model. <laughs> Sorry, Did that you was a Joe model. Sorry. I, you made worse puns, but that wasn't it, Chief. No, no, I know. That was like, that was. Really, really. I got a master ball in the ice cave after encountering a Mewtwo! Hey! What kind of bullshit look is that? Whoa, whoa, whoa there, buddy. Whoa there, buddy. Whoa, whoa <laughs> Hold on there, there partner. <laughs> Hold on there, partner. That's a swear word you just said. Oh man, that sucks Dude. though. I can't believe you got a master ball. I mean, listen, that's that's good at least because I have two master balls. So if you end up getting a legendary in any of the normal encounters, you can not only catch the actual. Well, actually, you could probably try and get like the dogs or something. I feel right? like honestly, that that's going out of my way. Like I already know that I have a good team, and I don't want to actually like go out of my way for legendary encounters. You did the tin tower stuff, but that's optional. Yeah, well, I mean, I yeah, I, I had a feeling it was optional, but I, I also wanted to do it just for the legendary. I mean, I got a Mewtwo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which is definitely worth it. I could have had a Mewtwo, but no, Ice Cave just wanted to give him the Master Ball after I ran into it. So that's just annoying. So wait, are you are you not gonna do the Tin Tower stuff? I mean, your team is already pretty. You're gonna skip yeah. it. Yeah, I'm skipping it. I mean, th <laughs> think about it. I'm behind. I feel like I kind of have to play just a little bit riskier, you know, in order to catch up to you. Yeah, I mean, if your if your team was struggling, I'd maybe recommend it. But I guess I guess you really don't have to, cause I got Mew, I got Blastoise, and I have Hey All Scott here. Like it's kind of, I, I feel like I'm set. Mewtwo would have been so nice. I feel like that would have been like the cherry on top of the point where it's just I don't need to worry about the Nuzlocke anymore. Um, but I mean, that didn't happen, obviously. But I think we should still be all right. Yeah, wow. So I, I ended up taking like, it was probably like half an episode doing the Tin Tower stuff. So you, or even, even maybe even a full episode if you round up. Um, mm -hmm. So you, you might, you might actually, you're going to save a lot of time from that. Exactly. Especially because especially I got lost in there too. Yes. Oh. You also got lost in the ice cave too. I don't know if you just caught, I, I'm already taking on the eighth of gym. Yeah. That's like, a, that's a, yeah. did you finish the Team Rocket stuff? Yeah. Like you did the sec, the second part that I missed? 
Yes, I did. Oh my god, dude, you're literally because after that eighth gym, you're just you're just right behind me. You're like on the same yeah. route. Are you doing oh. the uh, the rival battle right now? No, I'm I'm just going through the route right now. Oh wait, so you didn't make it to Victory Road yet? Where where, where are you? I'm very confused. <laughs> It's a great question. I feel like you're also equally as confused. I don't even think Frank knows where he <laughs> no, is I'm right now. I'm just, I'm just gonna keep going right until I get somewhere. <laughs> I mean, I went, I went through like a little cave. Um, I mean, oh, I thought that little cave was a victory road. I again, I'm not really like paying a lot of attention to your game because, oh god, I gotta focus on mine. <laughs> yeah, no, there. I mean, there's, there seems like there's a little bit of a route here. Unless, in, is this the route to? Kanto? Am I going Yes and way? no. Technically, Victory Road and uh, the Elite Four is in Kanto, actually. Technically. Wait, wait, for real? Yeah. Yeah, no, if uh, you actually read the dialogue, <laughs> uh, as soon as you uh, surf uh, to the east of New Bark Town, the first person that you talk to is like, congratulations, you're in Kanto now. This isn't Kansas anymore. Like, it's kind of crazy. Wait, wait, that's insane. So technically speaking, the Johto Elite 4 is in Kanto? That's that's messed up. It's it's a little backwards. Well, I don't know. So, someone in Game Freak really didn't think that one through, did they? <laughs> yeah, no, they, they had fun with that. All right, Gengar's yeah. dead. I'm sorry, Gengar, but go back to your grave, bro. How I how could he possibly be dead? He's a ghost. He's already dead. Dude, I'm so sad. So you know, you know how I was watching ReZero, the new season? Yeah. Well, I fell behind on it. And now I'm watching Legend of Korra. Um, and now, <laughs> now I'm like, I'm just really behind on ReZero, and it makes me really sad. It makes you really sad. Re <laughs> Stop. Stop. That was not even barely funny. Hey, but we've made worse puns, and that's what we should focus on. <laughs> that's true, you know. <laughs> it's like if you kill a guy, at least you at least you haven't done worse than that. <laughs> exactly. What we're gonna compare our bad puns to murder? <laughs> I agree. Actually, they're pretty bad. I mean, it's like killing, killing the joke, killing, yeah, a killing person. comedy. Like we kind of did take it that to the extreme. Oh yeah. Absolutely. I gotta be honest. I actually don't know this gym puzzle very well because they changed this gym puzzle uh, from Gen two to Gen four. And I've played a lot more Heart Gold Soul Silver than uh, Gold and Silver. Sorry, sorry, d did I ask? You know, I was really hoping that somebody in the comments would ask. You know, you pulled this crap on me in a previous episode. <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just asking, I'm just asking, bro. I'm asking now that you know, I, I, I you brought it up, but like, did I ask originally? I, I'm asking now, but did I ask you know, then? You know you know what? I want I want one person in the comments right now to hit me with, uh, "Hey Ryan, how do you feel about the eighth gym in Blackthorn City?" <laughs> <laughs> you know, did you like it compared to the Gen Four remakes released in two thousand nine? <laughs> Jesus Christ! No, have you ever um? No, the, there's this one Scott the Wads meme uh, in one of his videos where he like you know does a bit where he's talking about like the history of the United States. He pulls up a textbook and he flips to a page where it's just like this massive paper where it's his face with some big bold text of, uh, it was like. Uh, the United States Cold War history. But what does Scott think? <laughs> and it's like a what? picture of him going. <laughs> but what like... does Scott think? Yeah. Oh, that's so funny. Dude, for real. I, I really freaking recommend that content creator. He is like the next big thing on YouTube, in my opinion, as far as gaming content creation goes, I think. He's very, very talented at what he does. Uh, he also posted an interview with somebody from Screw Attack this morning, and I listened to that entire interview. It's like an hour and a half long <laughs> thing. It was really, really cool. Oh, really? Yeah, I... um. Wow. <laughs> yeah, dude, I believe it or not, I've kind of been really getting into like interviews and podcasts lately uh, instead of listening to music while I edit. Like uh, recently I listened to uh, an interview with Jack Septiguy about YouTube burnout. Uh, I listened to a podcast uh, that was talking about Miranda Cosgrove's dating life because low key, she's still single and she wants a boyfriend. She talked about it in the podcast. I'm just saying I'm also <laughs> single. I know, <laughs> you see. <laughs> you did not, you did not just slide into iCarly's DMs on a freaking Bro. YouTube. Dude, literally, that might have been the worst thing you've ever done. It's definitely not the worst thing. I've probably done worse, but could you imagine how legendary it would be if King Corfish dated Miranda Cosgrove? Like, bro. I, you're like, I know. You see. You see. Please take okay. the f out of me. And <laughs> It'd be so wonderful. wonderful. <laughs> oh, man. Yo, please, everyone in the comments, ship it. Ship it oh right now. Rarely. Let's go. <laughs> Oh man, that's Yo, funny. That'd be so funny. So, anyways, Frank, who's your celebrity crush nowadays? I actually, Please say Bob the Builder. Please. I, you know, I really liked um, who's Sam Puckett's actor? 
<laughs> oh my god. Um, no, I actually, if I had to give an actual actual celebrity crush, it'd probably be Ariana Grande, weirdly enough. I can see that, actually. You have a weird addiction. I do, yeah. It's either Ariana Grande or, I guess, yeah, Scarlett I Johansson, if I had to get crazy, but like... Scarlett Johansson? Yeah, she's great, dude. Yeah, she is pretty great. Uh, there's one movie that uh, she did called Lucy. It's a really, really great movie, uh, by the way. And she shows a titty in it. So if you want to see your titty, <laughs> why would it's there. you know that? Wait, wait. Because I watched the movie. You, you I, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, no, no. You questioned me for even bringing up Scarlett Johansson. Yet you literally, you know her titty on deck. Is that what I, you're telling me right now? How are you gonna make fun of me? It's a good movie, and it's a good titty. Shout out to the titty, man. <laughs> Yo, that's the tits, dude. It is the tits. No, but that was a really, really good movie. Uh, I watched it with my older brother. I uh, went in theaters, actually. It was the very first R-rated movie that I've ever watched, actually. I think I was like 13 or something, 14. Wow. Yeah. It was a really cool movie about uh, how uh, Lucy is the name of the very first uh, Homo sapien. And the entire point of it is that humans can only access 10% of their brains. Oh, uh, but it's Lucy based figures on out. It's yeah. based on that, yeah. Yeah, but Lucy, I think she takes some sort of drug from Morgan Freeman, and then uh, she ends up being able to access uh, 20%, and then 30%, and then 40%. Then as she continues to be able to, like, develop her brain, she can, like, you know, read thoughts, have, like, telekinesis, and she just becomes, like, God by, like, 99%. It's nuts. Uh, also, that's... Morgan Freeman's in it, and come on, he's the homie. That's crazy. That, that actually, it sounds like a, a fun movie, though. I think that you'd actually really like it. Not gonna lie, it, it is. It's also an action movie, which is really dope. They had some uh, really cool like fight scenes, uh, really dope effects, and everything. It was actually well made. Not even gonna lie, I loved it. Have you seen um? <clears throat> have you seen uh, a series of unfortunate events? I read the books when I was like a little kid. I don't remember crap though from those books, so yeah. I well, wish so, I could continue a conversation. <laughs> well, so yeah, well, so okay. I never read the books, right? I, I hadn't even heard really. I mean, I, maybe like I, the name had sprung up occasionally, but I'd never even like mm -hmm. really known what it was. Um, yeah. And then Haley actually showed me the movie, the Netflix movie, and mm -hmm. it was. Um, I hated it. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that's a hot take, man. No, that was a mis oh, like, that was a series of misfortunate takes, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, a series of unfortunate film is what it should be. Uh, yeah. But no, it's like it's like okay, so I liked the premise and I liked the characters and I liked the message, but they set it up mm -hmm. like a murder mystery, right? And, yeah. and, and and like at the end, it's like. Not, not trying to spoil it for anybody who hasn't seen it like I did. Um, mm -hmm. But it's like they, they, they just pull the rug out from under you and there's no... Like, basically, they set up this really cool story um, mm -hmm. with all this mystery. And first of all, they don't even answer half the questions. Um, and then they also end up making it, like, so predictable. It's like it's not even like they just remove any mystery from it. Um, oh, goodness. So, yeah, and that's, I, that's I understand, like, sad. people were telling me um, it's only it only covers the first three books. So that, that's, like, a big reason why it's like that. Um, mm -hmm. and kind like of like the are, Avatar movie, how they try to condense everything just too much. Yeah, yeah. Apparently, it's kind of like that. And then also, people were saying mm -hmm. how um, it's um. Oh yeah, there's also a TV show that's better. Apparently. Um, oh. But, Can you see yourself checking that out or no? I don't know. Eventually, yeah, for sure. Because now, now, like you know, it piqued my interest. And now I want to see just like the full story. You know. I feel that. I feel that. Oh, goodness, man. There's so many movies that are based off of books that are really great, but there's also some where they just completely boofed it, you yeah. know? Uh, from what I've been told, like, from my older brother, who's, like, the biggest book reader that I've ever met, you know? Uh, most of the time, the books are better than the movies. It's, that's not, like, a definitive, like, end-all, be-all statement, uh, but a lot of times. Like, I know um, my older brother said that he likes the Harry Potter books better than the movies. I do. I like the movies better. But uh -huh. I'm also, I'm Uga, Uga Caveman brain. I don't even like reading that much to begin with. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, I, I will say, I mean, I like the Harry Potter movies, but I, I do think the books are, are better. Um, mm -hmm. Which is cause... totally understandable. Claire has two golems. I'm sorry, what? Damn, look That's at the a little <laughs> Look at the balls on this gym leader. <laughs> Yo, there's some rock hard balls, aren't they? <laughs> God. I remember really liking the Percy Jackson uh, books and the movies almost equally, actually. Yeah, I, I remember actually not really liking the movies. Really? Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I just always preferred the books with Percy Jackson. The same the same goes for, I don't think they ever made a movie, but the same goes for like the Kane Chronicles. 
Um, that, those I've never even heard of the King Chronicles. What is that? They're like, so they're they're basically it's it's by the same person that did Percy Jackson, but mm-hmm. instead of Greek gods, I think it's Egyptian gods, and it's like it's like its own. Basically, think Percy Jackson, but different characters, and it's Egyptian gods. Um, That's I'm I'm not even gonna lie. That actually sounds interesting. I'd like to check that out. No, yeah, it was it was my favorite. I like the King Chronicles better than Percy Jackson, honestly. Interesting. All right, so I'm gonna totally take the focus off of Egyptian uh, gods and let's put it back on Greek mythology because I like Greek mythology. What's your favorite story, if you can recall? Uh, I don't really have a favorite. I mean, I would just I would just say Medusa because that's like the only one I remember. <laughs> okay, <laughs> but, I feel that. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I couldn't okay. tell you. My favorite would hands down uh, be the story of Icarus, where you know he he had to he, he, him and his dad got stuck in an island, and then uh, his dad made some wings out of candle wax and told him to fly off the island. Yeah, flew too close. And then to the Icarus sign. died. Yeah. Yeah. What a comedy. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, but yeah, it, I really liked that one a lot growing up. Um, what are some other really good ones? Hermes. He was the god of speed. Oh, yeah, he was a fast boy, wasn't he? Yeah, he was a fast boy. Um, I'm trying to remember some more stuff. I, it's kind of hard to recall all of it, um, but I remember just falling in love with, like, the Greek mythology uh, section when I was going through school. Um, it, it was it was something that always did, like, intrigue me. Yeah. Dude, I, I'll be honest. I, I have a feeling, right? I don't mean to talk about the game, right? Because, you know, we don't, <gasps> usually, we don't usually do that here. Um, yeah. But I have a feeling I'm, like, mm-hmm. going way out of my way. I really? just I just have a feeling. I don't know why. I have a feeling. I have an urge mm-hmm. that I feel like I'm just going way out of my way and this doesn't even lead to Victory Road. Like I, I don't know. It just it seems too long and tedious. I think you're going the right way. I'm not really watching your game that much, I'm gonna be honest, but I feel like you're going the right way. I hope I, don't know. I, I am. have faith. If you're not, the comments will tell us. Oh, <laughs> oh God, I hope I am. Dude, because like it, it feels like it's the right way, but at the same time, it's like, I don't know, I feel like Victory Road should have been closer than this. Like it, it feels so far. Yeah, I feel that. I feel that. I'm already in the Dragon's Den, by the way. Oh my God! I mean, honestly though, if you have to go through this route, like that's gonna mm-hmm. then we we got some we got some time. You know what I mean? I feel like I'm not not yeah. we're not you're not too close. You're close, but you're not too close. Yeah. Uh, so again, uh, we're just gonna make sure to cover our basis. Uh, Whirlpool. I can put this on any Pokemon. Uh, it doesn't matter about like compatibility, right? Yeah. No, you could do that, and if you couldn't, I, I mean, my my dick wouldn't be hard. So. <laughs> By all means. means. Power level. Actually, 0%, I lied. Yeah, same here, actually. (laughs) Good God. Yo, question of the day. Power level? (laughs) (laughs) Power level? Yeah, let us know, guys. Power level? (laughs) Let us know, let us know. Oh, man. So, right now, you need to stream some Mario Galaxy very, very soon. Uh, Do you want to... I'm going to go get the uh, Dragon Fang. I'm going to collect my badge and then wrap up the episode there. Uh, Yeah, yeah, we can go ahead. I'll just finish this trainer and then we'll, uh, we'll wrap up. Yo bet. Eh. Wrap it up like what, Frank? <laughs> like a Christmas present. Oh, that was actually really, really cute. I know. <laughs> you thought I was going to say safe sex. No, no, no. We only yeah. wrap up Christmas gifts. Yeah. So I actually can't collect the dragon fang because my bag is full. That's actually really interesting. I didn't know that was a thing. Oh, yeah. I, I'll be honest. My bag has been full for a while. I just kind of I, like I, I look at what the item is. Right, mm-hmm. and that I just, I kind of just, unless it's like a master ball, I don't really care at this point, you know. Yeah, I feel that. Well, unless the dragon fang, like you physically cannot continue the story if your bag is full with the dragon fang stuff. I can't wait to skip Hoenn and then get to Gen Four and finally not have to deal with our bags not being able to fill in everything. <laughs> oh my god! Oh wait, does Hoenn fill up too? Yeah, it does. Oh my! Isn't that annoying? God, why did they do that? Well, I'm going to guess it's because of the space of the cartridge and these games were made before we were born, so technology wasn't nearly as... Excuses. Those are all puny excuses. If they can fit an entire GD region that's not even necessary because nobody likes Kanto, and they can put a couple extra slots for my orange berries. Yeah. No, no, we really... We're vegan. We like berries. (laughs) Berries are (laughs) sick, dude. Anyways... Thank you all so much for watching. Like button down below. Comment and subscribe. Um, definitely go ahead. Uh, you know, we hope you guys uh, enjoyed the episode. We got another episode dropping. I don't know. Eventually. Eventually. I think it's going to be on Frank's channel on Monday, right? Uh, maybe. Which is tomorrow. Maybe. I don't know. We'll find out. We'll, we'll figure uh, it out. Maybe not. We might just decide to end a gen race at the Dragons then. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll see. We'll see you guys then. Thank you for watching. Like button down below. Comment subscribe. Um, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace. Peace, peace. Love you guys.
Six, five, four, three, two, one, go! Perfect. Eighty. That's another good one. 